I am Mark Rain. We're here at GDC. So let's talk a little about how you've been working with NVIDIA when it comes to Unreal Engine uh, 4 and their new project, Shield. Um, well, we're really excited to work with NVIDIA. We've had a long-term partnership with them. We're, we love Tegra, and uh, there's a lot of great Unreal Engine 3 games on the NVIDIA Project Shield, and they did an amazing demo showing how the Project Shield was built using Unreal Engine 4, so we kind of have a little coverage in both directions. When it comes to uh, the mobile space, what are your thoughts about how far things are advancing, how quickly they're advancing with Tegra technology? Well, it's pretty exciting to see something that powerful in the hands of developers now and soon in the hands of customers, and uh, we just hope they keep pushing the bar up and up and up. When it comes to Unreal Engine 3, can you talk a little about how that technology has grown over the years to adapt to the growing uh, mobile market, especially with technology like Tegra? Sure. We started out with Unreal Engine 3 as a PC and console technology, and gradually as the... Um, as the chips that power the mobile phones and tablets got faster and faster and faster, we realized, hey, we can actually make this technology run on these environments. And uh, so Tegra is actually one of the first environments we work with. And um, it's been great ever since. And they've been getting faster and faster with each generation. When it comes to Unreal Engine 4, can you just talk, give us a sense of what that will mean to the mobile space when it is available? Well, Unreal Engine 4 is great technology. It has you know, the, it's the most powerful engine we've done, it's the easiest to use, and uh, it's the prettiest. And we're just really excited to bring that to mobile. We're not quite there yet, but, you know, we hope uh, before too long we'll have technology there with Unreal 4, too. Now here at GDC, NVIDIA is show, showing off their new Project Shield gaming device. What are your thoughts about that technology? Um, well, I mean, there's some great Unreal games they showed on. They have Hawking up and running on it and real boxing and... Uh, it really looks good. It has a great feel to it. You know, it really does feel like a game console in your hands. So uh, I think I'm pretty excited about it. What are your thoughts about how things seem to be, the gap seems to be closing between what currently is available on mobile and what's currently available on console? Well, I mean, obviously, consoles go in a cycle, and they, they're getting towards the end of their cycle, and NVIDIA is just ramping up and up and up all the time, constantly. So. You know, that's, that's a good thing. I mean, it's great to have a, powerful platforms for the home, powerful platforms for the handheld, and powerful platforms for phones and tablets. Now, I know whenever I've been on a plane with you, you've always got mobile devices. What, what are your thoughts about the games that are being developed today for that space? Uh, they're pretty cool. I mean, you have to remember, before things like NVIDIA's Project Shield, all these games were touch device games. And so I think it'll take some time for developers to really embrace the idea of controller-based mobile gaming. But it's a really fun experience, and I hope to see a lot of great games for that. You guys also have our Unreal Development Kit. How have you seen that open up opportunities for the mobile gaming space? Well, we now have over 2 million unique installs of the Unreal Development Kit, which means it's in a lot of hands. And uh, people are doing some really great stuff with it. Some people are shipping games with Unreal Development Kit. Some people are using Unreal Development Kit as a stepping stone and then graduating to full Unreal Engine 3 source code. Uh, we do a lot of work with developers to, that we think are really promising to make that step possible. So the, we're just seeing some great content. Like I say, the, you know, seeing Hawken at the Project Shield launch was really impressive. Can you talk a little about uh, the CES presentation that NVIDIA had when they were actually debuting for the first time to the world, the new Project Shield in that video? Yeah, NVIDIA created this great presentation of a kind of, of an exploded Project Shield and they, and they turned around it and it looked really, it was beautiful, beautiful presentation. I think everybody sitting in the audience thought, well, you know, that's your typical pre-rendered movie. And then the developer uh, running the presentation moved the mouse. And you realize, this is real time. This is actually, this isn't pre-rendered. This is amazing, commercial, incredible quality rendering. And it was coming out of Unreal Engine 4. And so we're really excited about that. And it's a great kind of segue to the fact that Unreal Engine 4 will deliver games at some point down the road for this platform too. And so to be able to use it at a super high end on a high end NVIDIA graphics card and then later on have games deliver that same technology for a great handheld platform, it's just, it's just great. We just love NVIDIA. They do a great job. What are your thoughts about what Tegra 4 brings to gaming? Well, Tegra 4, I mean, from what I've seen of the games, is a lot more powerful than Tegra 3. And, and I believe more power efficient as well. So I think it'll be a big boost to mobile gaming and handheld you know, uh, Project Shield and tablet type environments. Were you surprised that Unreal, that were you surprised that NVIDIA chose Unreal Engine 4 to make that product demo? 
Yeah, I mean, we were really excited to have a company like NVIDIA who is known for doing these most amazing graphics presentations and always with custom bespoke code to choose Unreal Engine 4 instead of the approaches they take in the past and to use that, to use our tools and to stretch them and push them and do something that looked really amazing commercial quality. Yeah, it's, it's a huge honor for us.